All right, what is up, everybody? We are going to be playing confirmed. some Cove. I'll be sniping with the DSR, and uh, I do pretty well Agents, in this game. Um, I, this is not obviously a live commentary, um, like some of my videos are, but this one is uh, going to be kind of just here to give off some uh, tips and things like that. Um, the class that I'm using, I believe in these how-to videos, you gotta start with what you use, um, what, you, what you do use or what you are using in the video that uh, you're trying to show how to do well. So obviously the DSR and the FMJ and the ballistic unit on top, that, that just kind of helps with the uh, stability of the scope and it actually makes a pretty big difference in my opinion. I uh, don't really like sniping without it. For a while there, I was using the ballista without it, and uh, when I switched back to using it, I uh, did a lot better. So I highly recommend that using that unit, um, and then FMJ for just increased bullet penetration and uh, whatnot in that kind of sense. Um, and then I am using the TAC uh, 45 or whatever it's called. I can't even remember what it's called. Um, I, the only reason why I'm using that is because I um, I just hit I just ticked over prestige, so I don't have the B23 sniper rifle right now, so uh, I'm using this one instead. But in normal cases, I use that one, and I am using um, toughness for the second perk. I'm using ghost for the first perk, and I am using dexterity for the third. I know that's out of order, but whatever. Um, We've lost the lead. And I have the grenade and the two EMP grenades, which is uh, I really like the EMP grenades. It's uh, very useful in ways of um, getting rid of any kind of sentry gun or any kind of electronic unit. AGRs works great. You need two, but uh, it works wonders. And um, so I use those, and then yeah, that's my class. How I use it, the class setup for this uh, for this game, and uh, as with most of my videos, I like to stay on the outside of the map. Shooting down this line here is pretty good. Obviously, there's a big spawn point down there, like there. So you're gonna you see a fair number of people coming through there. Um, the next really good spot is right here, as long as you're aware of what's behind you, because I'm going to get shot in the back right now. Um, but if you can go up on top of that rock, you can cut off the middle of the map, especially if you know there's people running through there with a the UAV or what have you. Um, you can really cut off the beginning top side of the of the map where I spawned and, uh, and do pretty well. Um, I'm in the plane here, which is... A fairly decent spot. It's a little bit claustrophobic, especially uh, you know, with the sides being kind of really tucked in there. Well placed grenade is gonna um, mess you up pretty pretty badly. Uh, a lot of people, this is again that same area where that spawn point was. So there's gonna be a lot of people congregated over there. Uh, same with uh, the opposite side of the beach, you know, on the other side of this plane here where I was looking directly there. So there's going to be, the most of the spawn points are going to happen in that area. So you're going to get the majority of uh, people in that area. So if you're going to cut those sight lines down, use the, like this spot here as well as talking about. You can hide on this cart right here and get a really good vantage of everyone peeking around that corner um, and do what I just did. Um, the, there's this one here that you can hide behind, the one that I was at before. Uh, you can do both angles, both sides obviously. Um, throwing grenades right here will actually roll around the side of that rock like I did there. And if there's people coming, it works wonders. Um, yeah, awesome. People laying down. I don't really go towards the left of where I was just then along that lower platform, I guess, because I really don't like giving other people the uh, high ground with any kind of shooting game or anything. 
more often than not, you're gonna really want the high ground, and if you don't have it, you're at a disadvantage immediately. Um, because you can just kind of back up a slight bit, and then all of a sudden you can't be seen, but then you move forward and you can just shoot right over the ledge and just kind of time it. You know, I'm just inching back and forth, and you can just hit it perfectly. You can do it on this map in a few places, but not many. Um, the best map for that is obviously Carrier on the back platform, um, and you just kind of go up and down. But that's one technique that you can use, especially with sniping, that'll uh, give you a huge advantage over um, the enemy. Um, people are going to flame you for doing a couple things um, for hard scoping and there's gonna be people like, oh, you hard scoping takes no skill blah 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 confirmed you know what when it comes down to it if you're alive and he's dead who really cares about whether you hard scope whether you can quit scope whether you can freaking huck a rock off nine different things that rolls down a hill and bounces off some guy's head and hit tots touches a grenade that goes a little bit to the left and kills somebody who cares how it happens as long as he's dead and you're not that's pretty much a win in my books um and really who cares so don't be afraid to you know, if you're thinking someone's going to come around that corner and you already have the scope already on there waiting the corner, who cares? Just let it be and, you know, you can just make sure he dies and you don't. And other people don't claim you for it. Who cares what they think? They're probably the one that died. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, I was, I guess should talk about score streaks. Uh, it really depends, I guess partially on actually how good you are and how much you're going to be playing the objective. Um, I am playing Kill Confirmed in this game. I've been playing a lot of Kill Confirmed actually lately. I'm really enjoying it so unless you're collecting tags you're not going to be getting a huge amount of points. Uh, you do get obviously points for kills but not as many as um, for confirming a tag or denying a tag. So you're gonna want to play the objective to a certain amount if you're wanting to kind of tick over your score streaks. Uh, because I'm so early on in my prestige I have obviously what is available to me which right now is the UAV lightning strike and that uh, flying little plane. I can never remember the name of it but I actually don't really like it at all. Um, I would suggest using objective achieved. Good work. Probably the lightning strike, a UAV if you want it, and from there, whatever you want, a sentry gun or something even higher, maybe the chopper, and then you can just go off and let them keep on ticking over. But that's this video. Ciao.